Hi everyone, it's Bob again. Today I'm going to take you to meet a close friend of mine, Dublin Bob. He's a really great guy and I'm grateful to have a friend like him. But he is kind of cheeky, so uh, we're going to have a, a lot of arguments in a friendly sort of good way. OK, let's make our way over to the railway line and we'll get going. Here we go. Jump up and into the minecart and there we go. We have a nice, quiet minecart. Ooh, and we have Glasgow Bob's house and just a shadowy sort of pirate ship there. Can you see Pirate Bob's ship? We'll be off to see him in a couple of videos' time. But today is a big moment because we're going up across the uh, station to stairs platform 7 to 12 on the, other, on the other side. Here we are, platform 7 to 12. And there is our ride. Let us get in it. First time, look at that. No unscheduled comedy moments at all. Okay, look at that. You can see the sail there, Pirate Bob's ship, can't you? Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Here we go. This is not an underground line, I'd just like to say. But before we actually got the idea of building a separate underground station, we like to have a little bit underground in some of these lines just to make them more interesting because they're kind of nerdy about tunnels whoa although I wouldn't call um, Minor Bob nerdy about tunnels to him they're just a kind of way of life aren't they there you are there's Dublin Bob's place let us jump out okay we're around the back of the house but we're going to go around to the front to introduce ourselves properly because it's the first time that you've all met Dublin Bob here we are at the front. I am now going to knock. Wasn't that a highly convincing sound effect? Is anyone at home? Bob! What are you doing? I'm coming to visit you as we arrange. Is that OK? Of course. Come in. Where are we going? We're going into the living room, aren't we? But you didn't need to knock. I knew you were here because I smelled the toilet cleaner. Oh, very funny. I smell of my 16 toilets, do I? Of course! 16 toilets! How could you not? Well, at least I smell of toilets that have been cleaned. Yes, that's one consolation. Of course, a man who has one kitchen, one dining room, but 16 toilets, it leads me to wonder if you have some kind of a problem. Do you have to be near a toilet at all times? Oh, shut up! At least I don't have to be near the toilet all the... T uh, at least I don't... At least I use the toilet and I don't go in the garden like you do. Well, I'm insulted. Disgraceful. Good job you're my best friend, Bob. You know, I think you're likely to meet your end cleaning your toilets one day. You're bound to fall in one and drown. Oh dear. How about we drop the subject of toilets, particularly the thought of me drowning in one, and can we have a look round your beautiful cottage, Dublin Bob? That's no problem. Here we are, in the living room, for starters. You know, you have the most remarkable colour scheme for miles around. Purple sofas and yellow carpet. I know. I should have gone for the brown and green that my mum used to have in 1974 like you did. Well, aside from the colours, it's a very beautiful room. Is, um, is this the kitchen through here? It is. Please follow me through. And I know you have to do what you do with the cooker. Yay! Whoa, there we go. Yes, I do enjoy our new modern facilities. I nearly died laughing when you turned on Diver Bob's cooker after handling his toilet. I thought you'd be cleaning his toilets with your toothbrush. I think I should have kept my hands to myself inside that submarine. Diver Bob was more than a little protective. Paranoid is the word you're looking for. He thought your big tree could be a disguised ship. Honestly, I bet he checks his carrots for concealed explosives before he takes them on the ship. Well, I'm saying nothing, just in case his surveillance cameras aren't inside the submarine. Aren't just inside the submarine, I mean. Well, don't worry, Bob. Whatever you say and do over the next few months, you'll be living out the rest of your days with Diver Bob. He's a keen admirer of your excellent abilities, as am I. The less you say about my abilities, the better, especially in front of diving, especially in front of Diver Bob. Is this the uh, dining room here? No, it's the aviary. That's why I keep the chairs and tables in here. Look, I'm just trying to keep this tour of your house moving. You wait till I get you off camera, Dublin Bob. 
I'll behave from now on, Bob. I'll be respectful. I'm forgetting that I'm a humble cottage-owning serf, and you're the lord of the manor. I've never thought of myself as the lord of the manor, and I built myself a castle just because I like classic architecture. You spend just as much time in that castle as I do. Speaking of which, there it is. Doesn't it look good? Yes, very grand indeed. Oh, boy. Anyway, Your Highness, the only reason I go over to the castle so much is to do the cooking for you, since you're so averse to that task. Look, I'm just not very good at it. Your food's great, I really appreciate it, and I always do the washing up. Well, would you like to see the first floor of my humble home? My apologies, I'll only have two floors. Just round the corner here. Here we go. That's the stairs, isn't it? Ah, anyway, regardless of your two floors, matey, you could have made this house any height you wanted. The only reason you only built two floors is that you hate cleaning. Ha! Huh. And you would be so tired out after doing your cleaning, I wouldn't have time for my own house if I made it too big. Very nice bedroom, Dublin Bob, very nice. Do you do uh, much uh, TV, TV watching here of an evening? No, I'd rather be in the garden in the evening. It's lovely out there, watching the rabbits eating me carrots. Yes, your carrots. There they are out there, looking very nice, next to your potatoes. You know, all three of those carrot beds were completely empty last week. Ah, I assumed it was you that replanted them. Well, I wanted your garden to look nice for the video. Honestly. Is this uh, your bathroom through here? Look, I'm going in all by myself. Yes, you should feel at home in here. Go on, Bob. Do it. Go on. No, I can't. I was going to, but I can't while you're teasing me about it. Go on, Bob. The poor little toilet seat will feel left out. You know, you obviously have some sort of complex about toilets. Honestly, don't you have a spare room leading the way? Bob, you're leading me around. Am I not the master in my own house? More like the jester in your own house, I would say. If we finish here, we can go down and check the garden out. It will be easier to bear your sense of humour in the open, I think. Aha! Quick, quick, get through, get through. I did it! I did it! Ah, you see, I got this toilet seat before you could wind me up again about it. We really could do with a psychiatrist round here. One with lots of toilets in his clinic to keep you happy. He could watch you clean them and make a diagnosis. He might even prescribe aversion therapy. Although if cleaning sixteen toilets doesn't count as aversion therapy, I don't know what would. Oh, good grief, I'm sitting in here with a madman in a toilet talking about toilets. I built my sixteen toilets in reaction to the callous indifference of local authorities to the needs of shoppers. Did you know my castle has more toilets than Birmingham city centre? Ah, oh, I see. But I don't see how your castle helps the incontinent, incontinent inhabitants of Birmingham. It's just a symbol. Can we see your conservatory now, Dublin Bob? Yes, come with me, Bob. There we go. You know, you talk about my castle being luxurious and posh, yet you're the only one here that has a conservatory. It's very nice, too. Well, I wouldn't say the castle was luxurious. It's just large and vulgar, like its owner. I'm glad you like it here. It's a good place to sit and chat during the long evenings. Come and see my garden, Bob. Should be very familiar to you. Here we go. Oh, I do like your garden. What a beautiful vegetable plot you have. And anyway, if uh, never mind me being too familiar with your garden, if you won't look after your own vegetable beds, as your friend, I think I should help out. I suppose you wouldn't starve anyway if you ran out of carrots. You just walk into the castle and help yourself. Yes, after I'd cooked it, of course. No doubt you'd get yourself a generous portion of it. You'd get fat one of these days. I'm already getting fat. I need to walk around instead of taking the train all the time. Yes, why on earth didn't you just walk to me front door from the castle? It's much shorter than going through the train. I know, but it's, you're the first one on the other side of the station, you see, and it was exciting, and I know, it was a bit long-winded. Anyway, Bob, talking of walking, would you like to come and see my new pathway I built over to Glasgow, Bob? It's partly underground, so you'll, so you'll like it. OK, all right then. I do like a, a nice tunnel. Ooh, chickens! Hey, I like these trees. They've grown really quickly since we planted them last week. So, um, oh, 
That's Glasgow, Bobs. Is this the way? Over here? No, that's the boring overground way. Come down here with me instead. Ah, there's a tunnel. Okay, down we go. Ooh, signposts. Dublin Bob, Bob's Castle, Literary Bob. Yes, and... Ooh, <laughs> where's he gone? He's vanished. Okay, I think I'd better follow him. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so, um, what do you think about uh, my visits to our friends so far? Um, Dublin Bob. Well, it's been more of a kind of ideal home exhibition than anything else, but I think you got their characters to shine through. What did you think of Minor Bob's revelation that he doesn't live in his cottage at all? Well, I knew about that, I must say. London Bob told me. I didn't tell you because I thought it would add drama to your video. What about Minor Bob's feelings about daylight? He says he wouldn't shrivel up if he was outside all day, but I'm not so sure. He wouldn't shrivel up. Don't be daft. He just prefers it underground, that's all. And also he said he knows all about your big tree over there. I might go and ask him one day. Well, I've got some surprises in store for Minor Bob. Sometimes to find the most beautiful places underground, you have to travel overground to get to them. Of course, Bob. You know more about the underground than Minor Bob. Well, here we are at Glasgow Bob's. Isn't it a beautiful place? Of course, he was careful not to build it bigger than your castle. We know no one's allowed to do that. That is such rubbish. I told you, you build a small place out of laziness. You just live in the garden and eat raw veg if you could get away with it. You couldn't do that, of course, because you need to be near a toilet at all times. I'm not listening. I'll tell you what, while we're here, how about if we just nip through the uh, park here and have a look round the corner at Pirate Bob's ship. Ooh, doesn't that look beautiful? So we're going to see Glasgow Bob next time, and then it's Pirate Bob the time after that. So, here we go. So, let us do our goodbye bit, shall we? Okay, everybody. So we're going to go inside, I reckon, and knock on Glasgow Bob's door. Ignore everything that this guy said about me. Next time I'll be, I'll be seeing Glasgow Bob without Dublin Bob's helpful conversational remarks. And uh, what's your message to the nation, Dublin Bob? Remember everybody, keep your toilet in sight at all times. That's some message to the nation, isn't it? See you next time, everybody. Bye.